How to use Arbiter Finance Easy Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, welcome. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Arbiter Finance, so let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you can go to arbiter.finance and you will land right here on this website. Arbiter Finance allows us to L2 bridge and we have also the L2 data option. So once you get to Arbiter Finance, you will need to connect your wallet. That's the first step. And then we will be able to use all of the different options. Once you get to Arbiter.finance, then you will click on connect a wallet. We can connect a MetaMask wallet connect or a Coinbase wallet. So I will be connecting my MetaMask. So my MetaMask has been connected. You can see right here. If you do not have a MetaMask wallet, you can get one by just going to metamask.io. And if you just have Ethereum on your MetaMask, what you can do is you can actually switch different networks. If you are looking to, you know, add Arbitrum or Optimism to your MetaMask or Smart Chain, then you can do so very easily by adding a new network. There are already videos on this channel. You can go ahead and check them out. How to add Optimism to MetaMask, how to add Arbitrum to MetaMask. You will not require any other wallet. You can just use your MetaMask. I have connected my MetaMask and we're good to go. First of all, we're going to check out the L2 bridge. With L2 bridge, we have sender and maker option. And we have to now select our two tokens. And the first token is you can select from here and you will select the chain first. And then you're going to select your other chain. Here I have and with tokens that we are going for is Ethereum here. Now I'm going to select a chain. I'm going to go with Polygon to Arbitrum. So that's what I am doing. I will be, I have selected the token Ethereum and my chain is going to be from Polygon to Arbitrum. Uh, before we continue, I would also like to clarify that this video is not a financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not suggesting you to go for any of the tokens or the wallets. You can just, you know, you can get a better understanding first and then you can get started. Of course, crypto involves a high degree of risk or whether you afford to lose money or not. So make sure that you have the right information, you understand crypto, and then you can, of course, use Arbitrary.finance for your L2 bridge and for your L2 data. Here I have selected Polygon and Arbitrum. So you have to enter your price. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the amount. Let's say I have 100 Polygon and that will be converted into 99.98 Arbitrum. These are the prices at the time of making this video. Keep that in mind. Uh, we can also switch if we want. Similarly, you can go with any other token and then you can select any other chain from here not just like ethereum you can like select um all of these different options that are available so that's like center then you can switch to the maker here and maker is actually arbitrage maker provide liquidity uh, for layer two and benefit from it this is what they say and it will be actually coming soon so the maker arbitrage maker is not available yet for the layer two but we have layer two senders for arbitrage here then we have L2 data, layer 2 data uh, for different mainnets that we have. So we have Ethereum mainnet in our wallet that we connected. So you can see layer 2 transaction chart for the Ethereum mainnet. Roll up by daily transactions. So these are some of the other mainnets that we can check out. And what I can do is I can select one from here and I can also check out their live price. I'm going to click on more. You can see here and it will show me the rollups data. Then we have L2 uh, dApps data. Then we have new contracts. So I'm going to go with the rollups data here. Scroll down a little bit and it will show me the name. Then we have launch date, total transactions, total account, TVL, transactions, active accounts, and new accounts. So this is for one day and I can also select a time frame from above. You can see right here, these are all of the rollups. We have Arbitrum, Optimism. Uh, we have again Starnet right here, Hermes, Fuel, and others. Then we have L2 Dapps data where again, you have to first select your mainnet and then it will show you all of the DAP name that are available. I'm going to scroll down a little bit right here. 
to again uh check out our different tokens i'm gonna check out all of these different networks here we have arbitrum or optimism then we have arbitrum nova and starnet uh dap name given here then we have some of the uh, famous uh, dApps here we have uniswap we have sushi swap uh, and we have stargate all of these decks available we have launched it all users active users and interactions here to check out everything so it's actually if you understand how the layer 2 works then it will become really easy for you uh, when you select like a minute from here you can also check out a graph and it actually compares your layer 2 to your transactions that have been happening on your wallet like i have ethereum mainnet so it'll show me and then it'll compare it for me for example it went pretty high here ethereum transactions and then we have layer 2 total transaction so it was actually better the ethereum transactions were better than the layer 2 one right here at this at this point so this is how you can check out a graph uh, from here then we have our history so in our history we will be able to find all of the different transactions time value from two it will show you all of the transactions and the histories that have been happening and what you've been doing on arbitrum finance we can of course switch this is for arbitrum i can also go to the optimism and again show me the dap names then we have our arbitrum nova and we have starnet uh, so you can check them out. Let's say uh, I want to open this one up. So you can open it up in a new window to check it online. You can also click on more and it will open up the L2 Debs data here. We also have new contracts. What is a new contract? So this is going to be like completely new contracts that are actually unknown right now. So the name are going to be unknown new contract IDs, launch date, all users. So if you're looking for new contracts, you will be able to find them right here in the new contract section for the layer two similarly you can go ahead and check out all of these different options available on arbiter finance um, it's actually a very easy platform for layer two transactions and for layer two sender and maker so if you were looking to trade or if you're looking for a platform to actually check out all the information about the layer two bridge and layer two data then go ahead and check out orbiter.finance i just wanted to give you an overview about this platform if you have never heard about it i wanted to show you around the different options available so that you can have a better idea if this platform is better for you or not so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to do everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question